Hey guys, Aris, Hadgobasters, we are in Noctua's booth with Jacob and he will tell us everything you want to know about the new NH G15, G2 and the new cooling fan. So, what is so exciting about this new cooler? Yeah, first and foremost, uh, that it's finally coming. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we, we finally have it uh, shipping to warehouses all over the world and uh, targeting a late June release. Oh, okay. Uh, so, um, soon yeah. enough. Soon enough. It's going to only be a few more weeks uh, of waiting time, and uh, then we will finally have it in the hands of customers and testers. And like testers, you. okay. Yeah. So, uh, customers and reviewers will have at the same time the product. Roughly. This time, the viewers won't have them first. <laughs> customers okay. will complain if we do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So, what is the major difference between the previous D15, which was already very good? And the new one, what did you improve? So uh, the key improvements are first and foremost uh, the new uh, second generation uh, A14 fans. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have optimized the uh, heatsink uh, fin stacks to work in tandem with the, that fan. So uh, we're making use of the better pressure capabilities the new mm -hmm. fan has. Uh, in detail, that means that we have reduced the fin pitch from 1.9 to 1.6 millimeter, which enables us to pack 20% more surface area into the uh, same size cooler. Okay. Um, third improvement is that we're using eight instead of uh, six heat pipes and those heat pipes have been heavily tuned to work uh, ideally with this exact cooler design. So to make it simpler for our viewers, how many degrees Celsius? Um, we have lower. some performance metrics uh, down there. Um, on current generation Intel and AMD CPUs mm -hmm. at the, the um, upper end of their um, uh, wattage spectrum, we usually see a two to three degree uh, improvement. So two to three degrees improvement between the previous model and the yeah. new. And uh, another question. Let's say, no, oh, I actually have the G15. Does it worth it for me to upgrade to the new uh, model? That de depends on uh, how much you, you value that performance improvement. Um, if you think that uh, oh, two to three degree improvement maybe isn't worth it for me, you also need to keep in mind that you can, can convert that performance improvement into, uh, you can either run your CPU at a higher frequency uh, at the same temperature, or you could also uh, reduce the RPM speed of the fans and convert the performance advantage into an acoustic advantage. So you yeah. could run the G2 uh, cooler, maybe Lower two speed. to three, yeah, to be speed. quieter. Uh, then your G1 cooler, and that is, I think, going to be uh, very attractive to uh, a lot of people. Yeah, that, that makes sense. And now to the bad part, the price. <laughs> <laughs> the price is going to be uh, 149 uh, euro, 149 USD. It's it's expensive, but Jacob uh, explained to me why it's expensive. This guy's put so much effort in uh, making this upgrade. It wasn't an easy upgrade because the previous cooler was already very good. And when you have something already so good, it is very, very difficult to make it even better without breaking something. And uh, the production is in Taiwan, not in China. Taiwan is way more expensive producing something here, I guess. The development was in Europe. Uh, the new fans, it also comes with new fans. The new fans are more expensive. I know, guys, 149, 150 actually, it's very, very tough to swallow. Okay. Uh, personally, I don't do all-in-ones in my main PCs. I prefer uh, less complexity. I don't want to have any troubles. I'm mostly in, into air cooling in my main PC. Now, if you want, uh, if you are a huge supporter of Nocto, because, okay, these guys only do coolers. They don't do anything else. This is what they do. They say... We, we do one thing and we do it that very, very good. I will review it, the new cooler, once Jacob sends that to us. And uh, we will tell you if you should spend 150 euros or dollars to get one. Jacob, thank you very much. Thank, thank you very you much. much for visiting. <laughs>